Virginia and Duke on a Saturday afternoon in Durham. 42-17. Impressively, Duke is now 5-1 and 2-0, and and oh, while Virginia takes the loss as Virginia falls to 2-4 and 0-2. And oh and Rich Waltz along with Keith Jones. This was an impressive one from the very start. Both offenses came out firing in the first quarter. First quarter, a lot of scoring. Second quarter, no scoring. And then all Duke in the second half. That's the summary of the game right there. And the other story, you had quarterbacks, sophomore quarterbacks, making their first start. Anthony Boone getting the start for Duke. Phillip Sims the start for Virginia. Two long drives for Virginia. They get in on the ground on both of them. Duke answers with two long passes. Here's the first of Duke's long scoring tosses. And remember, that's Boone in his first start versus Sims in his first start. Yeah, Jamison Crowder with that long touchdown. Now this catch by Connor Vernon broke the all-time reception lead in ACC history. And then moments later, he hauled this one in for a long touchdown. And Duke had a 14-7 lead, but another long drive. And Virginia tied it at 14 apiece. Scores on four of the first five possessions, and then the rest of the half was punts. Yeah. You're right. In the second quarter, all of a sudden the defenses started to play well. Virginia just missed some big plays throughout the ball game. Coach London even commented that the, the Virginia Cavaliers, particularly on offense, were so close, so close. They did manage uh, uh, to get a field goal, but they were not able to get the big play. They go into halftime up by three. Now, second half was all Duke. Anthony Boone was brilliant in this one. He threw four touchdown passes. Nice little dump out of the backfield here. Well, and they did it through the air, and they did it on the ground. And what really impressed me was the ability that Duke had to rush the football in the second half. Yeah, we'll see the scores, but what you don't see is the ability of Duke to really churn up on the ground and run the clock. And another touchdown catch by Vernon. He had two long ones on the day. Not an easy finish for Phillip Sims. He was planted and went out with a shoulder injury. Jalay Thompson racing in for the final score. 42-17, the final score. Coaches London and Cutcliffe meeting at midfield. And you see the total yardage, as has been Virginia's what's happened to them this year. They outgain their opponent, but they can't find a way to get the ball into the end zone. Penalties hurt UVA a little bit. Turnovers hurt them. Duke, though, give them credit. In the second half, defensive shutout. Offense scores some points. Some points. Blue Devils deserve to win this ball game. Jen Hildreth found a way to catch up with David Cutcliffe after the game. Coach Cutcliffe, the mood on your sideline right there. I, I mean, there was so much positive energy, and for good reason. What can you say about your team in this win? You, you can't say enough about the team, the staff, and everyone that supports them. This is a beat-up football team, but our defense, without seven starters, what they were able to do, throw a shutout in the second half, couldn't be more proud of a bunch of football players than what, what we are. Impressive adjustments in this game, too. You told me at halftime you had to do better offensively, and you did. What adjustments did you make? Well, we found some ways we thought we could run the football more effectively and also had a better play in third down, so our offensive staff did a great job in that regard. The defensive staff, we settled down a little bit there, too, made a few adjustments, and it really helped us. So just my hat's off to the staff and the squad. Well, Connor Vernon's catch that broke the ACC record, maybe not so spectacular, but the other ones were, weren't they? Yeah, it didn't matter after that I told him he did it in style anyway so very very proud of him and lastly Anthony Boone I mean what a performance in his first start you've got to be pleased with what he did oh absolutely I told you he has swag uh, he's a good football player congratulations coach rich so now five and one and two and oh and the schedule gets tough for Duke not that it, it, it's not doable Duke is just one win away from their first bowl trip uh, since 94. It's the longest bull drought in college football. That 2009 group, they keep talking about it. The, the recruiting class of 2009 and what they might be able to do in 2012 could be pretty special. Yeah, Maryland goes to Virginia, and of course, Duke goes to Virginia Tech on Saturday this week. 42 17, the final. Duke beats Virginia.